section because um, you're missing a lot of stuff. So David, let's go and take a look over here. Now, what we discussed was, if you guys remember, when we were multiplying powers, we added the exponents. So now we're dividing. We're going to subtract the exponents as long as they have the same base, which in this case they do. They both have the base of 2. So therefore, I'm simply going to do 2 over to the 1 fifth minus 2 thirds. All right. However, ladies and gentlemen, we have to be, we have to be careful because now um, whenever we're adding or subtracting, we have to have the same base. Last problem was nice because we had the same base. But now we do not have the same base. So I'm just going to do the problem over here. 1 fifth minus 2 thirds. If you guys remember at the beginning of the year, when we add or subtract 2, what we need to do is get the same base. We even did this for rational expressions, which was last test. The only way to add two rational expressions was to have the same base. So to do that, we have to find the LCD, which in this case is 15. So I multiply both fractions by, by multipliers to obtain a common denominator. Now my common denominator is 15, so I have 3 over 15 minus 10 over 15. Does everybody understand what I have done? Yes. What do you not get? Can you let them in? No. Huh, interesting. OK, so Mariana, probably when you were looking outside the door, I probably explained what you needed to do. But do you remember doing this? x to the m over x to the n equals x to the m minus n. That's all I'm doing, except I have fractions. So when you subtract fractions, you have to have common denominators. The common denominators between 3 and 5 are 15. So I multiply by 5 over 5 and 3 over 3. I get 3 over 15 minus 10 over 15. So therefore, that equals 2 to the negative 7 fifteenths. However, ladies and gentlemen, we don't represent our answer with negative powers. We have to be able to represent this with a positive power. So therefore, I can represent this as 1 over 2 to the 7 fifteenths. Then, if I wanted to rewrite this as a radical, David, I would simply say 1 over the 15th root of 2 to the 7th power. And obviously, you could simplify 2 to the 7th power, but I don't have a calculator, so I'm not going to do that right now, even though that would be 32, 64, 128. See what you need to do.